At the end of December, an active media campaign which aimed to support the revival of the notorious Ukrainian Nazi Azov Regiment was launched in Ukraine. The initiative is overseen by the Kiev regime, which is doing its best to hide the Nazism in the country. Two battalions of the new Azov Regiment have already been formed, and the recruitment of volunteers to the 3rd Operational Battalion continues. According to the advertisements, volunteers will serve under the guidance of Azov officers who allegedly have invaluable experience in combat operations. De facto, there are two Azov units in Ukraine. There are Azov units in the armed forces of Ukraine, which include volunteers and members of the so-called territorial defense. They are not related to the notorious Azov regiment, which is part of the National Guard. The Nazi battalion Azov was based in Mariupol. After the beginning of the Russian military operation, the Nazis decided to turn the city into a fortified area. The fierce fighting on the streets of Mariupol led to great destruction. The Ukrainian Nazis were hiding behind civilians who were not allowed to leave the war-torn city. Having lost the battle from Mariupol, the remnants of the Nazi regiment hid in the basements of the Avastol plant. Soon they decided to surrender to the Russian military. In the following months, some of the Azov militants were exchanged for Russian prisoners of war. Some of them are still staying in Russian prisons. The campaign of the revived Azov regiment is based on the successful glorification of the Ukrainian Nazis and is addressed to new thugs motivated by increased propaganda of Nazi ideology in Ukraine. Members of the neo-Nazi paramilitary Azov organization became heroes of Ukraine, despite having had no successes on the battlefield. The military experience of their officers consists only in the use of civilians as human shields, sitting in basements in complete encirclement, and the skills to surrender. However, Azov's failures on the battlefield remain unnoticeable amid Kiev's Nazi propaganda, which is designed not only for Ukrainians but also for numerous neo-Nazis abroad. In the West, it has become a famous brand. For the Kiev regime, the revived Azov is a new legal tool for bringing foreign mercenaries and instructors to Ukraine.